These guys have been fighting this miserable mob for 34 days. This blue may go a lot longer. We will support these workers until we get the result they deserve. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. That's all we need to show. Well, all this is, it's a contract. And it gives Chris Hadley the opportunity to sign up to 20 bucks an hour and forfeit his salary so he's on the same level as his workers. But how bad is Chris going to feel knowing that workers are on $20 an hour and he's on a multi-million dollar salary? Well, they come in here, Nick. Can you go and get, make sure they don't come onto our property? Or we will call the police. I don't know who they are, sorry. You don't know who they are? Yeah. Majority shareholding in Super Aimer. Super Aimer, Super Slaver. Super Slaver. I'm an NUW member and I work at Super Aimer Warehouse in Somerton. Yeah. I've come from Melbourne to talk to you about my employer, Super Aimer. They have locked me out indefinitely and now I've been on strike for 34 days. Jay. Jay. I haven't had a pay rise in over four years. Jay. I just wanted to be able to live comfortably and to support my family, my wife and my four-year-old daughter. I'm currently working in a dangerous environment for low pay and I'm sick of going to work fearing for my safety. Of not being able to live comfortably on a 38-hour week. I'm sick of the fact that Chris Hadley, the managing director of Quadrant, just bought a $10 million Palm Beach house and also has a luxury condo in America. Meanwhile, I'm living in a share house struggling to pay my bills. What we need to do today is actually make a stand about what sort of country it is that we want. Do we want a country where people who do a decent job and work hard have a fair standard of living or not? We know that there's a private equity business upstairs, which is the ultimate owner of the place where these blokes work. Ten years ago, the bloke that runs that was pulling down eight million a year. So even if he just got inflation in the last 10 years, he might be on $12 million a year for all we know. And meanwhile, this business says to people that work in it that they can have no more expectation than to be paid the minimum rate, the minimum legal rate in this country for the work that they do. No pay increase. That's what Chris Hadley is about. Him being super rich, doesn't want workers to have any rights to have a collective agreement, doesn't want any workers to have proper pay, proper conditions. And he thinks, if he keeps up this behaviour, that we're going to go away. Well, we're here today to let him know that won't be happening. Woo! 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 Woo!